Good evening, this is Bell Geo, and we are back with some Microsoft Flight Simulator X Steam Edition. Tom Cattery. Yay! Alright, so we made it back from Aspen safe and sound. We're back here in Denver and we've got our backup pilot, Fred, who's going to be taking the Albatross to Portland, Oregon, since we have many, many stops to go before we actually make it to Portland. Bell, just how well do you know this Fred character? What are you talking about, Allie? We used to work together as test pilots. If anybody knows how to fly that aircraft, it's probably going to be Fred. Well, call me overprotective, but I don't trust him. First thing he does when he gets in the plane is starts moving things around. I swear, Bell, if we get to Portland and this plane is missing something or it's in the wrong spot, I will be upset. Oh my god, Allie, take a chill pill. He is a certified pilot. He has done races at Reno. He can fly the Albatross. It is in safe hands. I promise you this. Well, I still think I could have flown it to Portland. You really don't need a Rio, or maybe you could have taken Mr. Man over there. Are you telling me you would have rather not gone with me for the rest of these legs? No, I'm telling you we could have gone formation flying. We could have stopped at all the same spots. And spent about double the money in gas. No, I don't think so. The Albatross is in great hands. Fred will get it to Portland, and you will see your baby again. Hmm. You remember that one scene in Return of the Jedi? Where Han Solo is, like, letting Lando have the ship, and he's about to head onto the shuttle, and he just kind of looks longingly at his ship, thinking he will never see her again? Yeah, that's me right now. <laughs> oh my god, Allie. Give it a rest. We had a great time in Aspen. We've had a great time in Denver. Don't ruin it for me. Let's just go to Mountain Home Air Force Base, hang out with the fighter boys, and just have an awesome week, okay? Oh, I'll have an awesome week, alright, but I'm gonna tell you right now, I'm doing this in protest. In protest of what? Look, see, he's taxiing the aircraft at reasonable speeds. I just watched him do flight control checks, so he has to know what the hell he's doing. You know what? Call a tower, please. Get us some clearance. I'm already on it. Denver ground, the Valkyrie 109 er with Papa. Request taxi for takeoff. Departure to the west. Valkyrie 109 er taxi 2 and hold short of runway 35 left. Using taxiway Lima 1, Mike Alpha. Contact tower on one three three point three one ready. Taxiing, hold short runway three five left via taxiway Lima one Mike Alpha Valkyrie one zero nine er. I'm telling you, Bill, if there's even a scratch on my plane, I'm going to tell my daddy. <laughs> well, the joke's on you because your dad loves me now, and I'm pretty sure the albatross will be fine. Come on, let's get going. Well, I'm going to take your word for it, but the moment we get to Portland, I'm giving her a full once-over. And by the way, you should consider yourself extremely fortunate. You realize you're the first man that I've ever dated that my dad has not immediately said was a flaming jackass? <laughs> I'm going to consider that a huge compliment, then. What can I say? I get along great with dads, especially if they're either military or in the emergency services. So, hey, who knew? I think I was probably more surprised with my mom's behavior. I swear, I have never seen that woman dance with one person as many times as she did with you. Huh. So I take it your mom really likes me, huh? Well, she is kind of cute. Well, I will slap you.
And by the way, I sure hope you know that the moment we get to Portland, they're probably going to want to come and visit us. They have a habit of doing things like that. Good. Many hands make light work. We're going to have a crap ton of stuff that we're going to need to unpack. But hey, we're talking about stuff that's like weeks away now, so I wouldn't even worry about it. You might want to take a last look at your albatross there, because uh, she's about to leave. Yeah, don't remind me. <sighs> I'm gonna miss that plane. You'll see it again, I promise. Denver ground, United 1132, taxi to the gate. United 1132, taxi to the gate, Charlie 38, using taxiway, Papa 4, Papa Echo, Charlie, Bravo, Sierra, Lima, Charlie, Sierra. Taxi. And I want you to know I'm going to be judging him really harshly on his lineup on this runway here. Would you like me to put a sign on the side of the aircraft that says, How's my flying? Ooh, good idea. Oh, brother. Do we have Clarence to take off yet? Never down and impatient, boy. I'm working on it. Denver Tower, Valkyrie 109, are ready for departure to the west at runway 35 left. Valkyrie 109, are cleared for takeoff, runway 35 left, west departure approved. Cleared for takeoff, runway 35 left, Valkyrie 109. Okay, how quickly can we line up behind this guy and make sure that he flies the right course out of here? Jeez, Allie, cut the dude some slack. He hasn't even started his role yet. Damn, you're like one of those moms that's like the first time their child is going to school and they're so overprotective. Are you going to be like that if you ever have kids? Newsflash, I'll likely be worse. Oh my god, I'll never have sex again. I heard that, mister. That can be arranged. <laughs> I kid, I kid. Uh-huh. Oh, there he goes. Go ahead and line up. Quick, quick, quick. Yes, so queen of the Valkyries. Now, you did tell him the airspeed indicator is measured in kilometers per hour and not knots, right? Yes, Allie, I told him. And would it make you feel better if he also has a special frequency, call it a guard frequency, where he can get in touch with us? Oh my god, Bill, why didn't you tell me that before? So when is he going to contact us? Well, how about you let me get us off the ground safely first, and I will contact him and then patch him through. Well, what are you waiting for? He's probably at rotate speed right now. He just lifted off. Okay, I hope you're ready. Breaks down and throttles up. Southwest 1160 is 12 miles south. Inbound ILS, runway 3 warp left approach. Southwest 1160, Denver Tower. Fly straight in, runway 3 warp left. Altimeter 2, Niner, Niner 2. Make straight in, runway 3 warp left. Southwest 1160. Miss. All right, as soon as we get past the airport perimeter, I'm going to start uh, getting some altitude here. We're probably going to need to go up to about uh, 36,000 feet. So stand by. Standing by. Did you call him? Oh, hold that thought. Saved by air traffic control. I'll never say a bad thing about them ever again. Uh-huh. Watch it there, Mr. Geo. Denver departure, Valkyrie 109 is type Grumman F-14, 2 miles north of Denver, 6,900. Request clearance to transition Bravo airspace. Valkyrie 109 er Denver departure, Squawk 2547. Squawk 2547, Valkyrie 109er. Valkyrie 109er, radar contact 3 miles south of 60, Charlie Oscar, 9600, cleared through the Bravo airspace. Okay. Cleared through the Bravo airspace, Valkyrie 109er. Valkyrie 109er, you're leaving my airspace. Radar service terminated, Squawk 1200. Wow, that was quick. 
Yeah, no kidding. Squawk 1200, frequency change approved. Valkyrie 109er. Denver Center, Valkyrie 109er is type Roman F14, one mile southeast of Charlie Oscar 12. Request flight following. Squawk 0577, Valkyrie 109er. Valkyrie 109er, radar contact 2 miles west of Charlie Oscar 126100, altimeter 29992. Copy, Valkyrie 109er. Can you call him now, please? Give me a sec, Allie. Let me put the flight plan up on my MFD, and then I will tune in the Albatross. Okay, okay, I don't want you to feel like I'm rushing you or anything. Aside from which, I've got an excellent vantage point of Denver right now. Yeah, I know, I've got the same view. Alright, um, I finally was able to get the plan on the HSD up front here. And we are way off course. Crap. Okay, I'm gonna see if I can swing us around to the left a little bit more here. And yeah, the Mile High City looks pretty good. I'm gonna miss this place. So what was your favorite part about Denver itself? Hmm, I don't know. There's a lot to pick from. Probably the night that we all went out with your friend Connie and the other guys from your crew. I really didn't know that Connie was such a likable woman. Hey, you know, I told you you were gonna like her. I will give you that, though. She has a very cool personality. Well, hell, she spent eight years putting up with me and the rest of the squadron, so, yeah, I'd say Connie has the patience of a saint. And actually, this Tomcat is flying a lot better than I remember. Not to mention, I absolutely love what the crew did with the new paint scheme there. Well, that reminds me, I meant to ask you about that. So, I noticed that the little Valkyrie on the tail bears more than a passing resemblance to me. Was that deliberate? Well, when we had originally come up with the design, um, we kind of had a different face in mind, but it kind of just makes sense as far as I was concerned to just use your face, essentially. And Connie agreed, so she arranged to have it happen. I think they did a sterling job, personally. Well, I'm very honored and flattered that you did, in fact, choose to use me for your squadron's tail art design. That's pretty awesome. Sometimes... You really do amaze me, Bill. Aw, oh, thank you, Allie. Now, with that having been said, two things I want to bring up. We're just shy of 18,000 pounds of fuel, and why haven't you contacted the Albatross yet? Damn it. I was hoping you'd forget about that. All right, I'll contact them now. Thank you. Bell G870, this is Valkyrie 109er. Come in. Go ahead, Valkyrie 109er. Bell zero seven zero, reading you five by five. Hey Fred, mommy wants to check in with baby. What's the sit rep? Wow, that was quick. Well, uh, you want to put her out of the line, or you want to relay the message? Oh, I can hear you quite well. How is my airplane? Well, ma'am, I just executed a textbook takeoff. I think you would be proud, and I'm taking her up to thirty-four thousand feet right now. How's the trim situation? Actually, not that bad. Connie had us all take a look at the system and stem the stern, and we tweaked it whatever we could. So it's definitely a little bit more stable now, but obviously it'll still take a little bit getting used to. I think you'll enjoy it, though. Are there any issues I need to be aware of? Valkyrie 109 contact Denver Center on 128.65. Oh, hang on, Fred. 128.65 for Valkyrie 109 Denver Center, Valkyrie 109er with you. Valkyrie 109er, Denver Center, Roger. Okay, Fred, you were saying? Well, there's no serious issues at all to report, ma'am, but there was something that I probably should tell you. Uh-huh, here it comes, Bill. Your friend's a dead man. Well, when I went to get into the aircraft, I noticed somebody left a whole bunch of 
exit boxes all over the place. And there was some kind of what I can only assume is a selfie stick. So uh, I hope you don't mind, but I took the garbage bag and uh, cleaned out the cheesex boxes. I left the selfie stick, though, so I don't know if that's the way yours is out. Oh, my God, you are so busted. <laughs> Shut up, Bell. Thank you so much, Fred. Okay, I guess uh, we will talk to you once you get through Portland. Roger that. I'll give you a call when I land. And, Bell, I guess I owe you that 20, huh? <laughs> I bet him that it wouldn't take you more than 10 or 15 minutes before you would ask for a status report. <laughs> Alright, we're going supersonic, babe. I am so not amused with you right now, Bill. Whatever you say, cheese it girl, I just hope you are buckled in because we are about to hit the speed of sound. Goodness gracious, great balls of fire. Here we go. So are you okay now? You're positive that the jet's in good hands? Yes, Bill. Fred seems like a nice guy. I'm sure he'll take good care of the albatross. Okay, good deal. Glad we got that sorted then. I'm going to take this thing up to about Mach 1.6. Okay, that sounds good. And we've got about uh, 52 nautical miles until we hit the next waypoint. Total about 460 nautical miles until we reach Mountain Home. So what's the story behind that anyway? Why are we going to an Air Force base? Well, we got invited to participate in a couple of uh, goodwill exercises with the boys from the Bold Tigers. So um, we're going to be basically flying with them and, you know, just engaging in military type stuff, shall we say. They do know you're retired from the Navy, right? Oh yeah, but the squadron commander's a good friend of mine, and let's just say it helps to have connections. Coming up on Salt Lake City, do you want to make a pit stop? Absolutely not. I'm not stopping in any state that doesn't have alcohol. <laughs> For once I agree with you.
So, did you manage to do any research on our destination? I always love when you teach me stuff. I'm surprised you even have to ask me that. You know I did. Well, the first thing I can tell you is it was built in 1942. It's located approximately 40 miles uh, southeast of Boise via Interstate 84. It's been home to the 366th Fighter Wing, affectionately known as the Gunfighters. And they fly primarily F-15E Strike Eagles out of there. There's uh, two major squadrons, the 389th, which are the Thunderbolts, and the 391st, which are your buddies, the Bold Tigers. Now, the 366th Fighter Wing used to have two other squadrons. One was the 388th Tactical Fighter Training Squadron, which flew EA-6B Prowlers. They were deactivated in 2010. And also the 390th Fighter Squadron, the Wild Boars, who flew the Charlie model of the F-15, and they were deactivated in 2010. And it looks like we have about 191 nautical miles to go, by the way. Cool beans. We should be there in a few minutes, then. Here's an interesting little tidbit for you. Did you know that the 389th, the Thunderbolts, before they started flying the F-15 Echo model, they actually flew the F-16 Fighting Falcon? Huh. I did not know that. I wonder why they switched, because the 15 is more expensive to maintain than the 16. Hmm. Couldn't tell you, dear, but I will tell you that there was a crash there. One of the Thunderbirds crashed on September 14, 2003. No fatalities, though. We're closing in on the final waypoint before we begin our descent, so do me a favor if you could. Can you bring us down to about 20,000 feet using the uh, autopilot controls back there? <laughs> I practically read your mind, Bill. I figured you wanted to descend now. Okay. Uh, so all I have to do is just keep hitting the down arrow, huh? Yep, it really is that simple. All you have to do is just hit the down arrow. Let me know when we're at 20,000 feet. We should start a gentle descent, and then I'll have to make adjustments from the front here. Okay, I just about have it set right now, so go ahead and do what you have to do. Thank you so much, miss. All right, I'm going to start a pretty aggressive descent here, so we're going to pull it all the way down to about 2,500 feet per minute. Now, are you sure Connie fixed that issue that we were having with the uh, sticky throttles? Absolutely positive, dear. I trust my crew chief to completely be on the ball when it comes to something like this. Uh, so, yes, I'm going to be pulling us back to idle here in a moment, and we can start coming in. Okay, you're the boss, boss. I'm just going along to the right. you're interested, we're at our waypoint now. Yep, so I see. I'm making the turn now. So this should put us in a direct course for Mountain Home. We're probably still a little bit too far out to call for clearance to land, but uh, you know what to do when we get close enough. I certainly do. So what is all that down there? Are those potato farms? <laughs> What makes you think they're potato farms, Allie? Well, we are in Idaho. Duh. <laughs> oh my god. Alright, now comes a moment of truth. We'll see if Connie actually fixed it. Throttle going to idle. And engine spinning down. Woohoo! Great work, Connie. Nice. Oh, by the way, I took the liberty of calling ahead to see if I could get us a hotel room. Thank you. Truth be told, you probably didn't even need to. We probably could have stayed on the base. I'm sure they've got space. Let's see. Stay in Air Force Base that reminds me of when I was in the service, or stay in Four Star Hotel. Hmm. Decisions, decisions. Point taken, Allie. 
Well, now that you've seen things my way, uh, let me go ahead and get us an approach to come in here. Uh, Bell, I'm running into an issue here. What's wrong this time, Allie? There are no approach procedures for Mountain Home Air Force Base. What do you mean there's no approaches? Are you telling me the U.S. Air Force comes in VFR all the time? Would I lie about this? What are we going to do about this no approach business? There's probably no publicly published approach, but I'm sure there's going to be an ILS approach there somewhere. We'll just do it VFR. Okay. Going to 128.55, Valkyrie 109er. I figure if you can land on a carrier, you probably know what you're doing here, too. Salt Lake Center, Valkyrie 109 are with you, 7000. American 604, contact Salt Lake Center on 118.052. Valkyrie 109 are Salt Lake Center, Roger. I'll commit her to 992. Okay, let me see if I can find... Here they are. American 604. Mountain Home Tower, Valkyrie 109er, 30 miles southeast to land. Whoa, what was that, Bell? Valkyrie 109er, Mountain Home Tower, fly straight in, runway 30, altimeter 299er. Sorry, the wind's changed. Sure, blame Mother Nature. Make straight in, runway 30, Valkyrie 109er. Okay, so I guess we're doing this VFR. Here's your friendly neighborhood gas alert. We are now officially down to 10,000 pounds. Oh, we got plenty. Maybe I can do some fancy aerobatics before we come in. are low level in these parts. Now you know why we had that sudden wind shift back there. Should be alright though. I'm gonna get just below the cloud layer before we turn into final. I'm guessing that's the city of Mountain Home to our right there? Um, actually no. According to my knee board, that is Glens Ferry. Mountain Home is a lot closer to the airbase than that. Oh, well, my bad. I stand corrected. Thank you, Bill. And I suppose you know what the name of that river is that's to our right as well, huh? As a matter of fact, I do. That is the Snake River. All right, smarty pants. What's the airspeed velocity of an unladen swallow? What do you mean? African or European swallow?
Alright, in a couple more miles I'm going to go ahead and make our turn to final. So I'm guessing our course should be 300. Sounds good to me, Bill. Okay, I've got visual on the airbase. Autopilot off. And I'm going to swing us out a bit to the left here before we cross the Snake River on our way in. It looks like the diamond is pointing me directly to the edge of the runway, so that is perfect. I don't think I can get a better lineup than this if I tried. Looks like the weather is cooperating as well, so it should be good. I don't see any thunderclouds anywhere remotely close by, so we should be alright. That is good to note. I'm actually surprised that we didn't get any kind of information as to how to come in here on an instrument approach. But you know what? I need to brush up on my VFR skills anyway, so this would be the perfect opportunity to do that. From my understanding, you'll have plenty of opportunity for VFR when we reach the Pacific Northwest. And this pleases me greatly. Okay, I think this should be about it. We just passed the little island that I was told to use as a marker for coming in. Wait, wait, wait. Are you telling me you already know how to do the approach to this airbase, Bell? No, I've never been to this airbase before. What I am telling you is I did get some tips and tricks as to how to pull it off. Okay, if this relationship is going to last, we're going to seriously have to work on those communication skills, okay? <laughs> you should have figured that I had some idea what the hell I was doing there, Ali. I mean, I've got the knee board that has the map and has pretty good instructions on how to come in. I'm just kind of surprised that I didn't get any kind of instrument tips. Valkyrie 109er cleared to land, runway 30. Uh-huh. We'll have to talk about that later. Clear to land, runway 30, Valkyrie 109er. Okay, big boss, take us in. I fully intend on so doing there. Make sure you're strapped in. I'm about as strapped in as I'm gonna be. Alright, well, we are just about on the glide slope now, so I'm gonna need to focus on this here. Our speed is looking good. I'm going to try and see if I can get our flight path vector right over the edge of the runway and keep us right around this speed, and that should get us in perfectly. I don't mean to be a bit of a killjoy, Bill, but it really doesn't look like we are that high off the ground. Are you sure we're not coming in too low? Technically, we are just a touch low, but we should catch up.
very nice landing, Bill. Why, thank you, my dear. Got to show off for the Air Force boys, you know, we got to show them how it's done. <laughs> Somehow, Bill, I knew you were going to say something along those lines. Oh, so I'm starting to get predictable, huh? Hmm. I'll have to start changing things up on you. Uh-huh. Try your best, Bill. Try your best. Oh, I will. Of that you can be guaranteed, Allie. But probably not today. How's about we get off the runway, find a nice parking spot, and see if we can meet up with the commander here. Oh, I am game for that. We can do all of our socializing, and then I can get on the phone with Mr. Fred and see how our albatross is doing. Valentry 109 or contact ground on 120.5. I'm sure Fred will be glad to hear from you. But of course he will. He knows how important that aircraft is to me, so yes, he's definitely going to want to talk to me. 120.5, Valkyrie 109 -er. Okay, where are we parking anyway? Um, ask for parking to the gate. Gate? What gate? Mountain Home Ground, Valkyrie 109 -er requests taxi to the gate. Really? Taxiing to gate 6-9-er using taxiway Alpha, Valkyrie 109 -er. Are you kidding me, Bill? Gate 6-9-er, as in the number of this aircraft? Well, technically this aircraft's number is 109, but that having been said, the squadron number was 69 that we were in. And yes, it's almost like they knew we were coming. Ah, I think I get it now. So those are the gates. Okay. I uh, take it they didn't have those when you flew in the Air Force? Hell no. We had to park outside. They didn't have any of these fancy schmancy garages. Well, there you go. Today we're going to get treated like royalty. We'll actually get to park in a shelter that is honestly more there for the ground crew rather than to keep the jet out of the elements. But we'll take it. And honestly, Bill, you will hear not a single complaint from me about this. Somehow I knew you'd see it my way, Allie. We're going to have a lot of fun here. A couple of retired military people mixing and mingling with the young bucks. Yeah, we're going to have a lot of fun here. Part of me is excited, and a part of me is really afraid to see just what kind of shenanigans you're going to get us into this time, Bill. Valkyrie 109 or come in. This is Belfield 70. You might want to get that. I'm pretty sure that's for you. I'm parking us here. This is Valkyrie 109 or go ahead, Belfield 70. Hey there, Miss Strike. Just letting you know I am about one hour and a half away from Portland, Oregon, and going to be beginning my descent in roughly 45 minutes. Uh, the plane is performing perfectly. And you can expect to see it at the airport once you arrive, whenever that will be. That's great news, Fred. Thank you so much. Not a problem, Miss Strike. I will contact Bell by cell phone once I have landed and parked the airplane for you. Bell Field 70 out. Have a safe journey, you all. Valkyrie 109 are out. Such a nice guy. Uh-huh. And to think you doubted me or my friend. I'm very sorry I doubted you, Bill. It won't happen again. 
<laughs> yeah, we'll see about that. Alright, folks, but that will just about do it for us. We're going to go ahead and power everything down. We are here at Mountain Home Air Force Base. So, next time around, we're going to be having some fun with the Tigers. That will do it. So, don't forget to like. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already done so. We will catch you really soon on the next episode. And ciao!